Hey everyone, it's Jody back here with Strength and Wisdom Tarot. Here to do another random read. Today is going to be for July 9th. Keep in mind, they are general readings, so take what applies to you and leave the rest. Thanks, a big thanks, I should say, to everyone who has liked, subscribed, and shared to my channel. You know I love you guys. And uh, anyone interested in a personal reading, I do have some openings for uh, mid-July. So let's see what's going on today. Wow. Hmm. This looks like uh, money and gossip to me. We'll see. At the bottom of the deck, got the Eight of Wands. Eight of Wands. Eight of Swords. This is being trapped in your head. A mental prison. Get yourself out of there. One positive thought turns everything around. Keep that in mind. So we'll see how that applies to the reading. Now we're going to start off with Major O'Connor, the Emperor. Yeah, this guy's been around the block. Been there, done that. I can show you a few things. He's all about structure, stability, respect. Drawing that line in the sand. Don't cross it. Respect is earned. When it's earned, it's also given. So, we'll see how that applies. In crossing this reading is the Ten of Pentacles. Now, this is about having the money, the valuable things in your life. Tens being at the end of the cycle, so it's being able to enjoy them. You know, if you were saving money for a special item or a particular you know, trip or something like that, Props to you. But it's being able to enjoy these things and not feel stressed out about it later. So, with the Emperor and the Ten of Pentacles, this is like having structure, holding yourself back with your finances and stuff so you can have these things you want. Okay. In your foundation, we have the Four of Pentacles. Now, also depicted as the Miser card. This guy's got his last four pentacles and holding them to his chest. It's like, uh-uh. Not for you. So, maybe you had to be a little bit miserly. You know. Count your pennies. All that stuff. You know, different situations call for different actions. You know. And the emperor here is about being responsible, too. Let's not forget, folks, he rules an empire, not just a kingdom. And with that comes a lot of responsibilities, and a lot of times that you might have to restrict yourself. Point blank. Now, what's crowning the whole reading is a queen of pentacles. She is depicted as the earth sign Taurus, Capricorn, or Virgo, or somebody who takes on these properties. Oh yeah, she's got enough pentacles. She's worked hard for them. She appreciates the hard work. But she's very grounded. A realist. I call her the farmer's wife. Loves the outside. Loves the animals, plants. It's so easy to talk to. And that crowns the whole reading. So maybe there is a struggle here that you have to put barriers around yourself. You know, and you got to tell certain people don't. If you're just trying to get to, you know, your throne of having pentacles. Now, in the recent past, you got another major arcana. You got the Wheel of Fortune. <laughs> Great card. Things turning. If you felt stuck before, you're starting to move now. But things going in your favor because it's the upflow. The wheel always turns. This time, it's turning in your favor. So maybe, you know, that... You came into some sort of good fortune. Maybe a promotion. You know, in your job. You know, maybe a small windfall. Maybe some sort of lawsuit came in. 
or whatever. It kind of like boosted you. But you're still trying to maintain, you know, some uh, structure and just not go buck wild with it. Okay. Going into your future. You get the five of wands. Now this is petty arguments, babble, rumors, gossip. Not everybody's on the same page. Maybe people see, you know, financially you're doing better and this is where they hitch up. Maybe you didn't tell everybody about this little fortune you came in <laughs> with the Wheel of Fortune. And everyone's wondering, man, how'd she get that money? Why? How is she doing so well? How is he able to afford this? I don't know. Some people. <laughs> it could be jealousy. Envy. You know? And, you know, people that go on other lower vibrations, you know, it's just like, why can't they just be happy for you? You know, seems to me that somebody got their shit together here, started getting a little bit more serious about their finances and how they spend it and stuff, so something good came in the process. Some people just, you know, can't be happy for you. So how people see you in your environment. See, it's a two of wands. Now, this is somebody who's at a crossroad. Which path do you choose? Which one is the right one for you? What course of action do you take? So, people are looking at you like you have a split decision. And these are normally, um, you know, kind of life-changing. Maybe you are doing better with your finances and you want to move somewhere. Because now you can afford it. Maybe these are your neighbors, and you're just sick of it. One never knows. Just one scenario. So, you are doing better financially, no matter how that happened. And now, you have decisions. You have choices. You know? And in your environment, another major arcana. The hanging man. Now, this is self-imposed, just like this is self-imposed. Put yourself there. If you're feeling stuck in a situation, in a relationship, whether that is a business ship, a friendship, a love ship, you know, you can get yourself out of that. You don't have to stay stuck, especially if you're doing better for yourself. Come on now. Never feel stuck. There's always an option out there. Now, in your hopes and in your fears, you have another major arcana. Woof. You have death. Now, death is not, you know, you're going to die or anything. No. This is the transformation. Death transforms one situation into another. Now, if you look at it as that creepy green, you know, caterpillar going into a cocoon, death is the cocoon, okay, the transformation, because something beautiful comes out of it at the end. I want to think that someone hopes something will transform, something will change in their life. Maybe that you are now more financially stable, then maybe, you know, because you worked hard to get there, that you want more, you know, something better for yourself, maybe for your family, or your relationship, or whatever, and the only way to get that to change is to move forward, like the wheel of fortune. You gotta keep moving, you gotta keep going forward. Absolutely. Now, I don't see any breakup cards here. I don't see any relationship, you know, cards here. 
or a relationship in jeopardy. Let's put it that way. I see somebody doing better for themselves and now it's time to move on, maybe move literally to another place. You've made your standards better for yourself so now you're going to work on those other standards. You know, you don't have time for bullshit and people's petty arguments. Maybe you gave them the time of day. Maybe you were involved in it before. But you're just not having it now. Because things are changing. Things are turning around for you. They're transforming. You don't have to be stuck anymore. Come on. You got yourself this far. Absolutely. Because your outcome card is another major arcana. Judgment. Rising up from the ashes. Hearing the call. Reconciliation? Could be. Maybe you need to reconcile with some of these other people. Who knows? That choice is yours. But it's also a second go at something. Now, saying that, that maybe you've had some arguments, you know, with some petty people along the way, whether that be a neighbor, a friend, or whatever, because you're just trying to get your financial structure, you know, better and on track. And, you know, maybe it's time to have a barbecue. Have a moment to say, you know, hey, this is what I'm trying to do, this is where I'm going. You know, but either way, the rising up from the ashes, you know, in hearing that call, you know, it's just like the emperor. Maybe you didn't have structure before in your life. And now you do. And now that you have corralled all these things, finances, feeling better about yourself, feeling good you know, about yourself again, this stuff maybe has to be in the past. And you have to address that because it serves no purpose anymore. And now, this might be your wake-up call. That there are better things for you on the horizon. Absolutely. So that's what I have for you today. Please keep on liking, subscribing, and sharing to my channel. And yes, I do have some openings for personal readings. All the info will be in the box below. Everyone, take care.